Let's use $150 an hour skill to run this tiny little pump and see if we can control the flow of air through this expensive flow gauge. To do this, we're gonna put firmware into this tiny little microcontroller in what's known as a bare metal configuration. To give you some context, bare metal just means we are running firmware on this little chip with no operating system, just our application interrupts and direct register access. This keeps the system closer to hardware and closer to a single data sheet that explains how everything inside the chip works. If you wanna follow along with this video, here's all you need. First, the microcontroller. This is a PIC-12 F675. They're very cheap. You can get them from DigiKey. And you have to buy the programmer, which is this Pick Kit 5, and it's about $77. You're going to need a pump and a flow gauge, but if you don't want to spend money on that stuff, you can just get one of these -la 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 gear motors. You need a power source. In my case, I'm using a BK Precision bench supply, but you can also use a battery configuration that gets you between like three and five volts. And with two minutes left, let's build our circuit. Here's what we're building. You can pause here if you're following along. We've got the Pick 12 F675. That's our microcontroller. We've got an LED being sunk into that, which just means that we are grounding the LED through that microcontroller. So we're giving him five volts and a resistor so he doesn't burn out. We've got a 10K resistor pulling up our reset line so that he doesn't reset randomly. We've got a potentiometer here, which is just a variable resistor. So you adjust this knob and then the position of this wiper goes up and down. When you give the potentiometer five volts and ground, you get a voltage that sets up at the wiper. The microcontroller reads that voltage as if it were a digital multimeter. How amazing is that? The microcontroller turns on our motor or our pump through this output, which goes to a 1K resistor, and it switches this big, beefy TIP-122 transistor. This part has a diode inside of it to protect against inductive spikes that happen when you turn this motor on and off very fast, as we're about to do. All the code for that little chip is right here in this file. It's main.c. And this lives in MPLAB XIDE. And it also tells you like how much memory you have left when you program the part. Here's the code. You can download it from my GitHub. What we're doing is we're establishing an interrupt service routine to run this pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation or PWM just means that we have a square wave going to that motor. It means we're turning it on and off very quickly. In this case, at a thousand times a second. The longer that that square wave is on, the closer it gets to 100% on time, the closer you get to 100% of your voltage getting to that motor and giving it full power. And then we have a main loop with a one millisecond system tick and we're pulling time bases off of that. This allows us to do other stuff that doesn't matter as much like flashing the LED. Now we just make and program the device. Okay, it's running. You hear that whining sound? That's because our PWM is very low and it's not enough to turn the rotor on that pump yet. Let's crank it up. It's starting to pump now. Programming microcontrollers is tremendously rewarding and fun, and I hope you can see here with this demonstration why it's a $150 an hour skill. You can start to control scientific instruments with something like this.